Hey there, welcome back to my room. Today I thought I would do an August favorites video. I'm gonna be talking about movies and music and things that have just been really making me smile throughout the month of August. And so I hope some of you guys enjoy this kind of thing. This is mainly for those of you guys that are interested in knowing a little bit more about me outside of my fashion thrifting videos. Most of you guys already know this now, but I am actually eating all plant-based foods and I really just care a lot about what I'm putting into my body and how my body reacts to the foods that I've been eating. But I also really have started to care about my skincare. I just had the crazy experience last year where my skin was breaking out from some ingredients that I was putting on it. It was a huge wake up call for me not to just go into something without you know trying it out first or looking at the ingredients. So with that being said, this video is heavily sponsored by Folane. Now you guys have probably seen these cute little green pouches all over your favorite YouTubers channels, but I'm actually really excited to have this because a part of my everyday life because Folane is a retailer that offers 100% non-toxic products. So they're kind of like Sephora and Ulta in that they have a range and variety of different brands and products and you can kind of just like choose the things that you like. I'm just going to quickly show you guys some of the things that are in this pouch that I've already started to use. We have these really cool multi-purpose soap. So you can use this for hand, body, dish, counter, dog, delicate skin, and everything. So it also has a very earthy, citrusy smell that I just, I'm like, I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. There's also a complete skincare routine. So freaking adorable. I don't know what it is, but I'm a sucker for tiny packaging. And this one I'm actually thinking of getting the full size for. It is the OC Ocean Cleanser. And you guys, the smell in this is very fresh and earthy. It's just like a preference for me to have something that is kind of like aromatherapy when you wear it. I have not used a toner in the past like five months or so because every time I use a toner, it breaks me out. I don't know if it's some sort of allergic reaction or something, but this one hasn't broken me out yet, so that's good news. This one is the Indie Lee COQ10 toner. Cruelty free too. I believe all the products that I'm showing you guys are, which is really convenient. And then we have the Ursa Major Recovery Cream. This one is a little bit thicker in consistency and so I've been wearing it at night. This entire pouch retails for $45 but for the first 150 people to click the link down below, you get 60% off which means I think it comes out to like about $18. And on top of that, you get free shipping. Huge thank you to Full Lane for sponsoring this video and allowing me to do what I love. I seriously am so excited to just be a part of a product that I really truly believe in. And on top of that, you know, it supports this channel. So thanks again. I've been wearing red lipstick for the past like 50 videos on my channel. And I've got to say, it really just gives me a lot of confidence. I feel like my lips look really good in red lipstick. So I have just become a creature of habit in terms of what I've been wearing. And so that kind of just became a staple of mine. But every time I tried out a new color, I noticed that everything that I was applying on my lips made my lips feel like I don't know, dry looking. And recently, actually no, at the beginning of the summer, I was sent this amazingly cute little lipstick. You guys have probably seen this on my previous makeup tutorials that I've done this summer, but I, I swear by this stuff, it's really just a stunning color. And on top of that, the formula is really creamy and soft, but okay, let me just show you the color really quick. A little bit messy because I've just been putting my finger all over it, but it is this stunning brownish red color and I've just been wearing it. Oops. It. Oh no, but <laughs> I've been wearing it on my lips every day. In fact, I'm wearing it right now And I just feel like it makes my lips look really smooth and buttery and soft and I I just love it. Okay, I've been wearing it every day and it's a good change for me Although I do talk a lot about my thrifted style on my channel, I did want to mention my absolute favorite thrifted piece that I have gotten in the month of August. It's not really like thrifted at a thrift store. I actually picked this one up at this online store called Thread Up. Here she is in all of her glory. It's just this beautifully flowy and fresh for Love and Lemons top. You guys know how expensive they can be, but this one, I believe I got it for like about $36, $38, which I know is kind of pricey, but it's barely worn. It looks brand new. There aren't any pulls in it. And you know, with this kind of fabric, it's easy to find like sort of like tears and stuff in them when they're secondhand. It has this really cool detail with some interesting panels and all of this pleating and some ruffles underneath. I think it's going to be perfect to wear for the fall time. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you guys 
these little cuffs that it has like they're so frilly and stunning little feminine top I am a sucker for any and all like piratey flowy Victorian top so I am obsessed I love it and I really just wanted to show it to you guys in this video because I know that I'm going to want to wear this a lot during the fall time but I feel like even now I can wear it because it is very flowy and airy so maybe like on a breezier day I'm just gonna pop it on and give her a go <laughs> and then for my next little fashion favorite I have this robe which you guys have seen all over my Instagram all over my stories all over my channel even because I literally live in this thing it is so gorgeous it is originally from Spellbiron Bay I am just in awe with the pattern and the print on this I love the combination of the pink and red and although it is a little bit pricier I do have to say that it's definitely worth the investment because of the quality and of course it is slow fashion so I'm just gonna put the link down below in case any of you guys want to invest in this robe because I'm telling you guys I've been wearing it every single day from the moment that I wake up I just pop this on go about doing the things that I do of my day and I just love it so I thought I would throw it in this here. This bag right here is so special to me. It was handmade by my friend Francine. Just the thought that she made this by hand all on her own, it really just warms my heart. So I wanted to say thank you to Francine. And if you want to pick one up for yourself, you can find it on her Depop, which is at Carousel Girl. I will also link that down below in case you guys just like want to pop on over there and get yourself a little handmade bag. She also let me know she's going to be doing a tutorial on this bag. So if you're crafty like me, then make sure you guys check out that video. I'm most likely going to be trying it out myself because this color is beautiful for the summertime but I think I might want something a little bit more neutral for the fall it's surprisingly very versatile like I've been wearing it with more casual outfits as well as like little dressy dresses what and then for my second accessory I have this gorgeous little oops <sighs> that's gonna bother me while I'm editing I have this stunning little lion necklace that is also from Spelled Iron Bay I'm an absolute sucker for anything monogram zodiac signed because it just feels so personal and so I've been wearing it every single day and now we're on to the entertainment portion of this video I wanted to talk about some music and some movies that have been really just making me feel inspired you guys probably noticed this from watching my videos and the music choices that I have but a lot of the times they're very much inspired by what I already listen to in my everyday life and so I thought I would recommend two different songs that I have been loving lately and that have been recommended to me by Roger because he has such an amazing musical taste America's name Speaking of the devil, he just brought me my favorite Dunkin' Donuts ice drink. This one is their French vanilla with almond milk, and it's unsweetened, and it just tastes so amazing. Thanks, Roger. Okay, so back to the music. The first song is Lost My Head There by Kurt Weill. I never listened to his stuff before. I know he was in the band War on Drugs. I'm not really good at describing things, so please bear with me, but I do love the laid-back feel about the song. It doesn't really have, at least in my opinion, much of like a deep meaning to it at all, but I feel like it's one of those songs that you can just pop into the radio as you're like on a road trip or something because it's just very catchy. Or I've also been liking to play it while I'm cleaning the apartment, so it's just a really great song and I highly recommend it. Again, I'm not really good at describing songs, so I will just pop it on the video. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about is by Alabama Shakes. It's called Sound and Color and I am just obsessed first of all with the vocalist. Her voice is just very warm and powerful and soulful and it really just speaks to me. It's very chill and beautiful and deep and when the orchestral violins come in I swear I lose it all because it is just a beautiful song and I again am not great at describing things so that is as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> I 
incredibly inspired by films, you guys. Like, I wish that I could be an editor for movies. I just love being able to see the shots, and I've especially been a lot more into, like, film versus, like, digital. But I did want to recommend this one called Eighth Grade that is just a very unique take on a middle schooler's life. I think it definitely just speaks to this generation in a completely different way, considering the fact of all things like social media, which I didn't really grow up with back when I was in middle school and in high school. So to see that kind of flourish a lot more in the youth of today, it was really just a unique perspective and I kind of always wanted to take a glimpse of that. I also really love the portrayal of the main characters social anxiety it's something that i've always dealt with and i kind of still deal with it to this day but i love the way she powers through it regardless of her insecurities and i also really love the role that the father plays in her life i know a lot of people are saying that he's too much of a softy but i can understand that from his perspective he really just wanted what was best for his daughter so i just highly recommend this movie it is so beautiful and it really spoke to me in a different way because i deal a lot with social anxiety Next up, I wanted to talk about a show that really truly just inspires me, especially inspired me to vlog more out in nature. It's called Anne with an E, and I I love this show. It has a special place in my heart. Obviously done with the second season, and I've been watching it since it first came onto Netflix. I don't ever feel like I'm skipping through the show because I'm not interested in the storyline. Like I'm genuinely invested in every single character and you really do see a development in Anne. She's very outspoken, has a beautiful vocabulary, is very curious and just makes you feel like you're a kid again. The performance of the main actress is just stunning. So utterly inspired by the characters and as well as all the nature shots because it really just inspired me a lot in my latest vlog. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out I really do feel like it's underrated like I don't think that I've seen people talk about it as much as I have with uh, shows like stranger things and what's that other show that's really it doesn't matter it's fine I love this show so I recommend it <laughs> Next up, I have my boyfriend's Polaroid, which you guys have actually seen me thrift with him in my, I think it was my back to school thrift haul of last year at My Unique, RIP, it's no longer there. But I got this for only $6, and I believe online you can find these for $150. Highly recommend checking out thrift stores if you're ever looking for like any film cameras. What's funny about it though is that if it doesn't have the cartridge inside of it, it won't turn on. So I feel like a lot of people think that it's broken because they don't reload it with film. Roger actually purchased black and white film for it and we've taken a couple of photos here and there. I have one of me and Clementine on the wall which you guys have probably already seen also in my last outfit of the week video because I took those while I was filming it. Love the idea of having a tangible piece of memory in hand. I just think that that's something that's been lost a lot through social media and digital cameras so I just really recommend always having a Polaroid. I just like the idea of being able to keep them and putting them in an album. Something that I really want to go out of my way of doing and investing in because those are things that I could always just pass down to my you know my kids and stuff. It's not the same as like having a photo on Facebook. I don't think that those are things that you can really pass down to your kids really and you never really know if like one day Facebook kind of just disappears. And my very last favorite that I want to talk about today is actually the camera that I'm filming with right now. Can't really show it to you guys because... Oh, hold on. Just just give me a moment. Let me... Hello! There she is. So, I sold my Canon 70D and this might be a little bit of a downgrade, but I just feel a lot more connected to this camera than I did the last one because the other one was really big and bulky and it's a lot harder to film that way. And so although the quality of the picture isn't as good as my last camera, um, I just love being able to have something smaller and something that I feel like I can take you guys along with me versus having like a big bulkier camera. Like I just, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but I really just feel a lot more inclined to wanting to film because it's a lot smaller, compact, and it's just mine and I'm happy with her. I actually rented it out at first specifically for the cabin vlog that I did a couple weeks back and I fell in love with it. So yeah, shout out to my Canon G7X that I'm filming with right now. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and enjoying this time with me. I really hope that you guys could get inspired by some of the things that are inspiring me at the moment and that this video is like, you know, worth filming because I never do these and I really just want to be able to talk to you guys and connect with y'all with things outside of my normal shit. In the comment down below, please, please, please let me know any movie, music, art, 
any recommendations at all that you guys have been loving this month as well and i will read through all of them in the comment and if you guys want to catch up with me on a daily basis you can also find me on my instagram which is at diana chamomile i try to post all my stories there daily and i love dming with you guys so if you want you can catch me on there i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day i love you all so much and i will see you on the next video bye So tell me what's wrong with